So we're walking to shoot in front of the library and I met this Eigen guy. And uh, I gotta say, I got a real bad feeling about this one. So you want to know about eigenvalues, huh? Now that shit you're going after isn't something you should be fucking around with. Take my advice. Run. Run while you still can. Because once you get into this shit, you don't make it out alive. Still interested? Walk with me. The thing about eigenvalues is nobody really knows what they are. Something about how your eigens value or something. Some people say it's a measure of importance of nodes in a network. Other people say it's how the West won the war. But the thing is, if you're gonna keep following me through this, I can't guarantee anything. Let alone your safety. So you might be wondering why you need to know this math term with this long ass name. But the thing is, if you learn the ins and outs, it could be pretty useful. Believe it or not, it does have real life applications. Uh, prime example, Google's, uh, Google's algorithms here. Whenever you put in a search, they, uh, they, it's called PageRank. PageRank, and uh, whenever you put in a search, it ranks the pages based on how important they are, and it uses eigenvector centrality. Prime example. Now we're not going to become Google engineers here, but we can still get a basic idea of this. A basic explanation that doesn't have the words eigen or centrality. It's the measure of importance of a node in a network. This value is figured out by adding all of the neighboring nodes centralities. This is a simple version of it, but it still helps out here. What this means is your importance, if you're a node, is based on the importance of other nodes you're connected to. In the example on screen, the blue nodes contribute little to the eigenvalue of the green node, as they have no connections. The red node, however, has many connections, and therefore gives the green node a higher eigenvalue. Still with me? Run with me. Hey, I'm trying to do something fuck? important here. Fucking, fucking jackass. Sit with me. Now let's take the math out of this for a second. Think about it this way. You're a bit of a loner. But you know this one guy, you know, he's a big deal, he's a head honcho, and um, yeah, I'm talking big, big cahoots like uh, Jeff Bezos or uh, Barack Obama. And uh, because you know someone so important, that makes you important. Are you as important as uh, someone who has two big friends? You know, the guy who knows not only the cashier at your local Wegmans, but you know, Elvis. You're not as big as him. But let's say you got a lot of friends and they know a lot of important people. You know, suddenly you're getting more important here. Someone's got a lot of big friends though, they beat you six ways to Sunday. You haven't stand a chance. And with all this in mind, the biggest dick on the block might not be who you think. Knowing important people, it's the only way to do it. It's a representation of power. That guy who knows two powerful dudes might not know a ton of people, but the people he does know are powerful. And get this, because he knows both of them, he has the power to connect them and really shake things up. If you were, say, a mathematically minded gangster, you could use this measure to see what kind of guys you would want in your entourage. Instead of going for one of the big guys, maybe it'd be better to hit up some of the smaller guys, who in turn know big guys. It's a different way of looking at things, and it can really change how you think about how things are connected. That analogy used people, but people are really just a placeholder. With Google's PageRank, for instance, 
It looks at how many actual sites link to a page to determine its importance. If a lot of other sites link to it, it must be important. But if the sites that link to it are also linked to by a lot of sites, well then you might just have a site that's worth visiting. This is just one of the ways you can use this wild stuff in real life. Hey, uh, Rick? Rick? Yeah, we're filming. Right. Uh, that's about all the time we've got for today. Uh, but if you do want to know more, contact our resident expert on Eigen Valley Centrale. That'd be Keith Lind. Uh, most, he's the most knowledgeable guy I know on the topic. But otherwise, we're out of time for today. I'll see you all down the trail. You know you can look right at the sun when you wear these? This is the worst Rugrats documentary ever. <laughs>